I'm gonna share with you what I found at the Nordstrom sale this year. Lots of goodies. I have some keepers and I have some things I'm gonna return, but there's some things that you might like. So I'm gonna give you honest feedback about the fit, the fabric, all of it. And we haven't met before. I'm Tanya Bernadette, personal shopper and online stylist at The Closet Edit. Let's get started. Okay, I got this one and I kept it up a little bit so you can see it is a very fitted top and it's meant to be fitted. If I go up a size, it's not going to look good. The style is not going to look good baggy at all. It has to be fitted, but I feel like it's a little tight. I mean, it is stretchy, but I am top heavy. I got bigger shoulders, bigger arms, and I feel constricted in it. For my line of work, I have to walk around a lot and carry bags and carry clothing, go through people's closets. So this piece is not going to work. It is by Halogen. This is a size extra small, which Halogen usually runs bigger, so extra small works for me. It's on sale for $29.90 and originally $49, but this for me is going to be a return. I like the idea of it. I also love the slit. My style has gotten more sexy, more feminine, and um, I like the idea of this, but it's just not gonna work. Oh, one more thing I forgot to add. I'm gonna turn around. It has a two button closure, which I don't usually mind, but it doesn't have enough stretch here. So I didn't even button the top one to put this on. And that also shows like, if I'm gonna go in my closet and put something on, I need something a little easier than this one. Okay, see, now I'm even struggling to get this off. Can I do it? Can I do it so I could get the next item on? There we go, got it. Okay, this next top is by Aloe Yoga. If you haven't heard of Aloe Yoga, they are a brand made for working out in yoga. So it does have the logo on the back, but I don't mind. I truly love the color. I'm liking the crop tops. <laughs> uh, it's not something I feel comfortable wearing to work, but for casual, like wearing a jogger pants, using this for a weekend, or even going out, um, with a high waist pant like this, I would totally wear this. Love the fit, stretchy, love the color, and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Next, another crop top by Vera Moda. This one is an extra small. I struggle a little bit to put it over my shoulder, so I feel like I want to try this in a small and exchange it. And it is a crop top again, so like I said, I've been having fun wearing crop tops for casual and going out. And because the world has opened up again, I feel like I need to update my going out pieces because before the pandemic, I was pregnant. And then when it happened, I had a little baby. So I didn't end up buying clothes to go out. Yeah, I like it. I love the colors. I think it's a really fun piece. Again, there's not a lot of stretch into it. So you might want to go size up. And while I have it on, it's on sale for $29.90. And the aloe piece is also, I think, around $34.95 to $29.90. So they're all under $50 so far. And since I have it on, I'm gonna show you this by Good American. I actually really like these. So it has a side zip. Um, a version that's similar to this is the Sphinx um, leather. It's not real leather, but looks like a leather piece and it kind of sucks everything in. These are just really comfortable. I've tried the Sphinx one on and this one's just easier to pull up because it has a side zip to it and it's not as shiny. And this one has a seam going down the front. I'll take it off and show you a close up. But it really reminds me, I think it was three years ago for Halloween, I dressed up like Sandy from Greece and I absolutely loved the outfit I wore. And I was like, how can I find a way to actually wear this in real life? So this reminds me, of Sandy from Greece that year that I dressed up like her and I love Greece so I could wear this during fall and winter with sweat like any sweater and make it look more dressed up so I could wear this to work or I could wear it to going out with a crop top like this again this is good American it's on sale for $99 I think it's originally a hundred oh, let's see if I could get the tag to it and this one I want to keep because it just feels sexy and cute Oh, it doesn't say the the price, but it's on sale for $99. I can say that. Yeah, can't find it. Cute piece, love it. Okay, these are Good American. I just wanted to give you the correct 
um, price point. So originally $169 and in the sale $99.90. Okay, this next piece, I really loved the idea of it. I have gotten so many cool jogger pants I could wear to work and I thought this could be another one. And talking about Spanx, I was talking about Spanx earlier. Um, this is by Spanx and it's their Leather Lake Jogger. So it's originally $148. Oh, I really, again, I really wanted to like this. So let me take this off and see if I can show you what this looks like. Okay, so do you see how long they are? So I am 5'4", and there's no way I'm going to get this. I'm not going to get this head. Oh, sorry. I actually folded it because I was like, can I make it work if I fold it? But um, look how long that is. So I just showed it to you when it was folded and yeah, love the idea of it. I actually, because my style lately I feel is a little more sexy, more feminine, this doesn't even fit it either. I thought it would because of the leather, but I think the square pockets don't make me feel sexy at all. It makes me feel uh, more square and I'm already a rectangle shape, so it's not helping. If you're taller than 5'4", I think you can totally pull this off if you want a cool casual piece to wear with t-shirts or a jean jacket or even a crop top. But for me, it just doesn't work. It is really comfortable. It is really soft. There is um, more give in the thigh area. So if you have a problem with the thighs being too tight, this does have extra room and extra stretch in it. Sorry, not sorry. I got a lot of crop tops to try. So this is another top for going out for casual with my girlfriends or my boyfriend. And I actually, I really like this. I wasn't quite sure about the print. I love print so, but it has this orange brown to it. And there's a lot of brown coming back for fall. So you're gonna see brown pants, brown sweaters, and it is not super loose. So I like that. It's not super blousey. It doesn't look like a work blouse. It looks like something to go out. The only thing is I have a small chest and I feel like I need to pin it because it could open up easily if I move around maybe. I don't know, right now it's not doing it. It cinches in in the back, which is nice. So the back is ribbed and it cinches in and it's really comfortable and flattering. So I like it. The sleeves aren't too billowy. Another problem I have with being petite and I just deal with it and get it hemmed, but sometimes the sleeves are too long so I fold it as well but these are the right length. I like it. Super cute. Price, let's see. It says $39, but I think it's around 24 or something with the sale. So it's 39 originally. And the last piece I got is by Vince Camuto. And it's this ribbed, this is not flattering on me. I could just see it on the video. Um, this ribbed gray, a uh, sleeveless sweater and there's a lot of ribbed pieces out right now and I have to admit a lot of them are not very flattering on clients because a ribbed when you move around or anything it kind of just shows all parts of your body sometimes they're too fitted I have to admit that this one actually fits really well I feel like it's more flattering than other ribbed tops I've tried the neckline the mock neck is not that great on me I have a shorter neck so I don't wear um necklines like this but I thought I'd try it because it seemed in the photo it looked a lot shorter than other ones that go up a little bit higher but again still not a fan of it but if you do like this kind of style I think it's going to be really flattering on you it comes in other colors I got a gray because it matches a lot with my colorful pieces I have in my closet it's a great neutral um, to tie everything together but this is not a piece for me Okay, this is a dress by Vera Moda. I liked the idea that I thought I would try it out. The style, again, I'm going for is something a little more sexy, more elegant, but I thought it looked fun and pretty feminine. It has some ruching down the front, and then it's, it's just a very flattering cut, but it makes me feel like I'm in high school or in middle school, and I don't want to feel that way, so it's not a piece for me. Um, let me bring it down so you can see a little bit more of it. Let's see. So that is how it fits. It also has a lot of fabric. Um, I'm petite and I could 
I could do a long sleeve dress, just this one has a little too much here and too much here. So it's a little overwhelming on me, but yeah, this is not the right piece. I did recently get a dress for summertime that's casual that I really like. Maybe I'll show it to you later. It's not from Nordstrom, but I really love it. This is not it. So this is gonna go back as well. And lastly, I got a pair of sneakers. I felt like this could pair so well with a lot of the things I got. So if I wanted to dress down this dress, if I did decide to keep it, I could wear it with this dress. I could wear it with the Spanx joggers. Um, I could wear it with denim. I could wear it with a skirt. For whatever reason, I'm not quite sure if it's because of my skin color, but um, when you see it all together, it matches. But then when I tried it on, it didn't fit for whatever reason, but it's a very versatile piece. I think it also comes, this is the Adidas Running Course Edge Lux 4. It was a hot seller for the Nordstrom sale. It also comes in black. I actually think the black might work better. So I'm going to exchange it for the black and see if that matches better, but either color could go really well with a lot of different items. There's just something again about this in my skin color didn't work very well. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below and let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was. And if you ended up purchasing something from the sale, I'd love to know. If you want to find me on Instagram, I love sharing quick fashion tips. You can find me at Tanya B Style, that's T-A-N-N-Y-A-B Style, or you can find me at thecloset.edit.